RBI uses different monetary policy instruments, different monetary policy tools to affect the supply of money in the economy. We already discussed about the monetary policy, its objectives in one of the short videos that I came up with. Today, I'm specifically going to focus on one particular monetary policy instrument that is the reserve ratios. You would have often heard about RBI maintaining or changing the SLR or the CRR requirements. So what is this SLR, what is this CRR and how RBI uses it to affect the supply of money in the economy. Let's discuss that. We deposit certain money with the bank. That is the deposit which we are making in a savings account we are opening or a fixed deposit we are doing with the bank. Now these are the liabilities of the bank. How are they the liabilities of the bank? That's because the bank has to repay us the amount whenever we'll go to withdraw the money from the banks. So they form part of the net demand and time liabilities of the bank. Now the banks use this money which we are depositing to further provide the loans to the people. Okay, but RBI imposes a restriction on banks. That is, they cannot use this entire amount to lend. So whatever we are depositing, the banks cannot lend the entire amount. They need to keep certain amount in the form of reserves. So that if people, if many people like you and me who have deposited their money all together go and withdraw their money from the bank, the bank should have enough liquidity available. In order to prevent the situations like that of a bank run, where people are lined up, uh, forming a queue outside the bank to withdraw their money, but bank is not having the money available, this reserve requirement is mandated. So certain portion of their demand and time liabilities need to be kept in the form of reserves. This is what the reserve ratio of RBI specifies. Some portion of these reserves is to be kept in the form of cash. So that requirement is called the cash reserve ratio. Some portion of this is to be maintained in the form of liquid assets, which can be converted into cash during a short span of time, say in the form of gold, in the form of government securities. This is what the uh, statutory liquidity ratio comprises of, okay? Keeping some portion of your net demand and time liabilities in the form of liquid assets. So this was all about CRR and SLR. Now discussing how RBI uses them to increase or decrease the supply of money in the economy. Let's take a situation where inflation is prevailing in the economy. The prices are rising and RBI wants to reduce the supply of money so that the prices basically don't rise any further. So there's a need to restrict the supply of money in the economy. What RBI can do? It can increase the reserve ratios. It can increase the CRR requirement, the SLR requirement. When these ratios are increased, that means now the banks have to keep more money in the form of reserves. So when out of 100 rupees, banks were keeping 20 as a reserve and using rupees 80 to lend, now when the ratios increased, they might have to keep 40 in the form of reserves and lend the remaining 60 rupees. So the amount of money available to lend reduces. This means that the supply of money in the form of loans in the economy reduces. So when the funding available is less, the loans might be available at a higher rate, so people would borrow less. Lesser supply of money in the economy will help solve the problem of inflation. Now talking about a, another situation where the economy is not doing well, it's into a recessionary kind of a situation, a pandemic kind of a situation where an economic boost is needed, where an increase in money supply is needed. So what RBI can do? In that case, it can reduce these reserve ratios, reduce the SLR requirement, reduce the CRR requirement. When these ratios are reduced, that means less of that money is to be kept in the form of reserves, more is available to lend. When more is available to lend, more of that money will flow in the economy, increasing the supply of money in the economy, making it easier to take loans at a cheaper rate, more money available, more business, more output, more production, more growth of the economy. That will help solve the problem of your stagnant economy or a recessionary kind of a situation. 
So this is how RBI uses the reserve ratio as a monetary policy tool to affect the supply of money in the economy. We also have various other instruments. I'll take up those instruments in some or the other session. Thank you so much.